So today we're going to focus on hip flexors and hamstrings. That's the, the majority of the stretch today. Um, if you have a myofascial ball, I want you to grab the myofascial ball out. And this is a soft one, not a little lacrosse, not a yoga, uh, not a, this one's really, really squishy. And if you don't know what I mean, I'll send a link in the, in the video for this, where you can buy one. But what this is, is a really soft ball so you can work kind of your um, hip flexors without damaging any kind of the organs or anything like that. Now, since most people don't have one, I'm going to show you how you can mimic it. You're going to grab, as you can see, I have a million yoga mats. I'm going to grab a, your yoga mat. If you only have one, just use the one you've got. And what you're going to do is first lay it down and fold it in a third or a quarter and then roll it over. So probably about, what is that, three or four inches. And then you're going to roll the ends, not too high because you're going to lay on this. So just depends. Mine's a really light, uh, thin yoga mat. So I'm going to roll a little bit more. If it's really thick, you may just do one or two. So I've got now, it looks like a snail and I've got like a little bit of a ball. So you're trying to make that shape. And then you're going to take your pubic bone and place it just below that. So that's not on the bone. And then you're gonna lay on it. And your initial feeling is like, ow, that's gonna kill. Especially if you've never done this before. So you can start like I am up onto your elbows so that you can take some weight off. If you're like, yeah, I can handle this and you're able to relax there, you can start to lay down. Now the hip flexors don't go this close into the pubic bone, but you're gonna get the outside of the hip flexor. So if you have one side of your hip flexor, like one hip flexor that's really bothering you, you can already start to shift over and move so you're on the inside of the hip bone on one side. So um, what I've done is almost I've just rolled it up into the, remember that snail, um, to use it as kind of a ball. And we are massaging the hip flexors. So I've got it on the inside of the hip bone. And the idea is to find kind of a, an area that, that's quite sore or tight. And you may not find it at first because your muscles, your abdominal muscles are contracting and tightening around it. So see if you can breathe and relax it and so you can get deeper and deeper. And then breathe into that. If you don't feel anything, you can start to move your body down so that the, the little ball comes up a little higher into your abdominals. And you're still, if you haven't moved to a side, you can move to a side or you can stay into the center. If you're really tight, sometimes you just stay in the center, you'll get, you'll get both kind of relaxing at the same time. If you don't feel anything, then keep shifting and moving until you find an area that's quite tight. So, and then just shift one more time and then breathe into it. And when you exhale, see if you can, the key is to relax the abdominal muscles so that the block, the ball, whatever, uh, actually gets in past the abdominals and then shortens that hip flexor. So you're basically kind of massaging, shortening it up. And if you're on one side, you're gonna to go to the other side. And just on the inside of the hip bone. And if you've made your snail, your ball, you're on one side of the hip bone, you're in the center, you can stay in the center. Um, you, yeah, you can go onto one side. So what I've done is we started in the center, right? And now I've moved it over to this side. So I'm on this side of the pubic bone on the inside of the pelvis. So we're in the front, in the front here. Okay, so you're in the front here and you can always move up into the abdominals as well further up. Hi, Lindsay. Okay. And then shift around a little bit more. If you go high up, if you start going up, 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 you're gonna get into the diaphragm and you can massage the diaphragm as well. That feels really good. If you're really tight, if you're a really stressful person who uh, breathes really shallow, shallowly, then you may want to stretch the diaphragm as well.
Okay, I'll give you about 20 seconds there. Your last five seconds. Then you're going to come off of there and we're going to stretch those hip flexors out. So you're going to, if you only have one yoga mat, then you're going to roll it back out so you can lay on it or kneel on it. And then you're going to grab a towel or a yoga strap. Towel is totally fine. So we're going to have uh, one knee down. I've got my left knee down and you're going to untuck your toe and put your foot on the ground. Okay, and then your right leg is going to be forward. Right at the beginning, I want you to tuck your tail in so you're already curling in. Already, you're going to feel a hip flexor stretch. Okay, so I'm going to hold that for a second. When you lunge forward, don't lose this part. Okay, so we're going to start by just holding onto the towel, lunging forward without losing it, and then coming back. Got that. And if you want to think more to get more intensity, you're going to physically or mentally think about pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward. And by even me physically shifting it like that, shifting my pelvis, I get more intense into that left hip flexor. Okay. And then the last one, I want you to stay there. And I want you to stay quite light, okay? So it's not a huge stretch yet. We're going to increase that without moving the body, we're gonna move the arms. So remember the hip flexor goes from the quad into the abdominals. So we've already stretched kind of through here. So we're gonna start from the top now. This is where your strap comes in. You're gonna raise your arms above your head and then reach up. So you're already pulling up. So already you're increasing the stretch to this left side. And then you're gonna pull the right hand over to the side, okay? If you need more still, then keeping your tail tucked in, start to push your hips out to the left. So now we're trying to get a curve through the left side of your body as you're pulling that right arm over to the side. Then take your head and look up. You've got a grapefruit between your chin and your chest. And now lean back as well. And then breathe. See if you can not collapse through the right sides so you're trying to reach up and out to the side you're not just falling to the right two more breaths here keep that tail tucked in last one nice and then come back down to the center Woo. okay you're going to take both hands and you're going to go on the inside of that right foot Okay, now if you're too tight, you can start to move your hands forward or move your left knee back to give yourself a bit more space. And if you can't reach the ground, you can put your hand on a block or something. Your right knee is going to be straight. So I'm going to show you this way. Your right knee straight up. Okay, now you're going to pull your hands back and try and start to lift your chest up. Now you're pushing your hip flexors down again. Now watch that knee. See if you can hug the right knee in towards your elbow. Yes, it doesn't go up to the side. And keep pulling your chest forward to increase the stretch on that left hip flexor. Anybody crazy enough to come on down to your elbows? I can barely get there. One elbow. Nice. Oh, lift, you're halfway there. Okay. Now you're going to keep your left hand down on the ground and you take your right onto your hip, onto your right knee and push your right knee in and twist. Okay. So now we're trying to get our shoulders stacked on top of each other. Once you've done that, then you can lift your right arm up and then lean back a little bit more. So you should feel this in the left hip flexor again and a little bit in your lumbar thoracic spine as you're twisting. Keep pushing the right knee in back to the center line so that's your you're pulling the right knee in and twisting your body up towards the ceiling, towards the right.
last one. Good. Now bring your right hand back to meet your left. You're gonna come back a little bit onto your left knee and bring your right leg straight out to the side. Good. So right leg straight up to the side. Lift your right arm back up towards the ceiling again. Good, then you just scoop it all the way down underneath as far as it can go underneath your left hand. So now we're getting an inside stretch of your right leg and then reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, come all the way underneath, reach your arm out as far as you can underneath your left arm and then reach up towards the ceiling. Two more. Go nice and slow and enjoy the stretch. Last one. Good. Place your right hand onto the floor and then sit your bum down. So your right leg is still straight and you're gonna sit on your left butt cheek. Okay, take your left hand and put it on the floor. Take your right arm up towards the ceiling and go right up onto that left knee and lift your right hip up towards the ceiling. So left hand's on the floor, right leg still straight. Reach your arm up and over. So you're getting a full stretch through this right side. Excellent, and then come on down. You can sit on your bum, shake out the legs and feel the difference between the left hip flexor and your right. Okay, we're gonna do all that on the right side now. <clears throat> Show it this way. Okay, so now we've got the right knee, sorry. Right knee down, left leg forward. Good. And then tuck the tail in. So we got that first one. And you're just gonna come forward into a little bit of a hip flexor stretch and then back. It's gonna floating back and forth, just feeling that one out. Don't go super intense on this one. We wanna ease into the hip flexors and see if you can get those ribs down. Tuck that tail in, push your Right hip forward, left hip goes back. You've got that strap handy. You're gonna take that strap. And now you're going to do your hip flexor stretch first, then bring your arms above your head, then reach up even higher. And then you're gonna pull with your left hand over towards the side. So I'm pulling away from my body as much as I can. So I don't just fully collapse into this left side. I've got some space there. And then my hip flexor is a little bit more open. I'm gonna push my body to the right as I pull my arms over top of my head to the left. And then chin up and lean back. Two more big breaths. Then come back to the center. Place your hands on the inside of the left foot. You may want to move your right knee back a little bit more. Your left knee is hugged in nice and close to your bicep or your tricep, your left arm. And now you're going to try to Pull your chest through and forward. So you're getting, increasing the stretch on that right hip flexor now. Then right arm goes on the floor. You're gonna take your left arm up onto your knee and push your knee in. And then stack your shoulders on top of each other. Then once you've done that, take your left hand and bring it up towards the ceiling. Good. Left hand comes back down to the floor. And you need to lean back. Take your left leg straight out to the side. If you can try and get your pinky foot pinky on the floor as well, so your foot is flat on the ground, okay? 
Now we're gonna stack our, our shoulders on top of each other. So take the left arm back up to the ceiling and lean it back. And then reach your arm underneath as far as you can. Get the get that stretch on the left inner thigh and then come on up nice and slow and twist. See if you can twist a little further each time. Two more. Last one. Okay, now listen closely. Place both hands on the floor. Keep them on the floor. We'll bring your leg forward so you can sit on your right butt. Good, you're on your right butt cheek. Take your right hand and put it a little bit further behind you. Take your left hand, bring it up in the air. Everybody with me? Left hand up in the air. Go up onto your right, uh, right knee and lift your arm up and over. You have to do it as I <laughs> explain it. There you go. Otherwise, it gets really complicated. Good. And then keep pushing your hips up towards the ceiling. Draw the belly in. So you should feel a pull through this whole left side, maybe a little bit in the hip flexor if you get your leg back far enough, but more a side stretch. Good. And then come on down. Okay. They should feel a little bit more even now. We're going to use the strap and get a little bit more intense into the um, hamstring. So I've just got this as a little pillow for later on. So I'm going to put it around. Uh, the, let's go right foot. Okay, so gonna run the right foot. And we're gonna take it and lay all the way down. So however you'd like, bring your foot up towards the ceiling. Now the strap of the towel would like it to be just below the toes, but quite high up onto the forefoot. So that when you pull it, you're gonna flex the ankle. So your toes are coming towards your face. Now, if you, um, hopefully your hip flexor is not too tight, you can straighten out the left leg and the leg is fully on the ground, okay? Keep pulling your foot towards your face. Now what I'd like you to do is try to straighten your quad up. So maybe take it a little bit away from your face so you can squeeze the quad muscle and then pull, now flex it, pull it a little bit further. Squeeze the quad muscle and then pull towards your face a little further. Squeeze the quad muscle and then pull. Last one, squeeze the quad muscle and then pull, okay? As you're pulling, you notice the quad is gonna relax. That's totally fine. Relax the quad now and pull a little bit more on the right hand so your foot turns outward. So it changes the stretch slightly, it gets a little bit more into the shin as well. Then release some of the tension on the right hand and pull a little bit with the left. So now your foot's turning inward. And then uh, have it be neutral again. So equal tension on both ends, your foot flat towards the ceiling. Now put both ends into your left hand. The right hand's gonna go on the floor so you can anchor yourself down. And you're very, very slowly going to put, let your leg direct, uh, be pulled over to the left. At the same time, you're continuing to keep the tension on pulling it towards your head until you feel like, yeah, that's enough of a stretch for me. I'm quite happy with that. We're going on to IP band and hamstring here. So keep pulling towards your face. If you bring it down here, you're just gonna fall over and you're not gonna get any hamstring stretch. So you really do need to keep that pull on, on the band to keep it tight. So bring it back up to the center. You're gonna bend your left knee, bend your right knee and place your ankle over top of the knee. So we're in a figure four stretch. So you can get rid of the band for a second. 
You're going to bring both knees in towards your chest. Take your right hand and slide it in between your legs. You can grab the back of your left hamstring. And we're just going to do a simple figure four stretch. And you bend your left knee a little bit further, put it back on the floor, cross your, your legs all the way over and lift your bum up a little bit to the right. And then you're gonna let both of these go to the left. So you're getting a spinal twist to the left and you're gonna turn your head and look over to the right. If you would like, you can take your left hand and place it on top of your right thigh and push it down a little further to get a little bit more intense. Now you're gonna bring your right hand all the way over and I want you to roll onto your left side. Now uncross your legs and stack them on top of each other. Take your top leg, which is gonna be your left leg, straighten it out and pull it back as far as you can behind you. And then you're gonna take your right hand again and try and reach it up and over. Okay. Now come all the way back into the center. Now we're gonna do that a little bit more intensely. Lay on your belly. Hands are gonna be off to the side so you can help push yourself up. Bend that right leg, push through the right hand and now twist yourself back onto your side. If you wanna drop this elbow, you can get a little further and then pull your leg back. The further this leg moves away from your body and the more you push yourself up, the more intense you're gonna get on that hip flexor. You can have your hands here or you can have it underneath, whatever feels better for your shoulder. Last one. Bring your right knee back in, lay back on your belly. You're gonna stack your hands one on top of each other, bend your knees, and we're gonna do a reverse windshield wiper. So the ankles go to one side and then ankles go to the other. So you're getting a little massage on the quads, a little bit of movement through the lumbar spine. And we're gonna do all that on the other side. Okay, so you're gonna roll yourself back onto your back, if you'd like, you can start by seated, place the band around your foot, just below the toes, and then lay back down. So we're now we're on the left side. So don't go too far. Remember, we're gonna do the quad uh, tightening first. So you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna flex the foot towards your face. Squeeze your quad, which is going to straighten out your knee. Maybe it's not fully, but straightens it a little bit more. And then pull your foot towards your face, which is going to relax the quad. And then squeeze the quads. You're pushing your heel up towards the ceiling, extending the leg out a little further. And then pull it towards your face. Squeeze the quad. And then pull it towards your face. We've got two more. Squeeze the quad, it's getting harder and harder to squeeze as you get closer and closer to the end range. And relax, pull it towards your face. Last one, squeeze the quad. And then relax and pull it towards your face. Now hold it here. Now we're gonna do the inner and outer. So you're gonna pull a little bit more with the left and the foot turns outward. And then we'll pull a little bit more with the right and the foot turns inward. 
Don't lose the tension on bringing it towards your chest or towards your head. Then we're gonna go back to neutral. Heels pushing up towards the ceiling. Keep flexing it towards your face. Put both ends of the band in your right hand. Left hand goes out as your anchor and you're very slowly going to pull it, the, the whole leg over to the right. Last one. Good. I'm going to bring it back to center and you're going to bend your right knee, place your left ankle over top of the right knee and you can let go of the strap. You're going to slide your left hand in between your legs so you can grab onto the back of the right hamstring and then figure four stretch, pulling both knees towards your chest. And then you're going to place your right foot on the floor, cross your ankles or your knees all the way over top. So you're um, like you're wearing a skirt, lift your bum up and bring it over to the left and let both knees go to the right. Now you're going to turn and look at your left hand. And if you want a little bit more, bring your knees up closer to your chest, grab onto your left uh, hip or your thigh and push those legs down as you're twisting the other way. And then breathe. Now, then you're going to come back. So your left hand comes back over your leg on your side. You're going to uncross your legs. So now they're just stacked on top of each other. Back a little bit. And then you're going to straighten out this right leg. We're just going to get that initial stretch. Pull the left leg back behind you. Take your left arm and then reach it back and over. Okay, so just opening it up to where we want to go. And then bring it all the way back. Lay on your belly. And we're going to get that more intense stretch now. So you're going to bend your left knee, lift your hip up, roll yourself over, and then wherever you want that other hand, you can have it down, have it behind you, and then try and move this left leg as far as you can. So we're getting that hip flexor stretch on the left side. Good. Then bring it back to the center and back to your belly. Arms are extended straight up in front of you like you're flying. So now, this is a very small and subtle one. I'm going to get some hip. This is kind of like a laying hip hike, kind of like we did the other day. So without lifting any body part off the ground, we're going to slide instead of lift. I want you to slide your right arm forward, which is going to slide your right hip up. And that means your left leg is going to get longer. So the right leg is going to feel shorter 
hip goes up, left leg goes longer. Then you're going to bring that back to neutral. Now you're going to reach with the right arm. So right hip is going to go up and then right, sorry, left arm is going to go up, left hip goes up and the right leg gets longer, right hip goes down. And then go back to neutral. Reach with the right arm, right hip goes up, left leg feels like it's longer. And then bring it back to neutral. Left arm, reach, reach, reach. Try and get the hip to come up as well. Everything's still on the ground. Remember, you're just sliding. And then back down. We'll do one more each side. So reach, reach, reach. Pull up the hip. Using a little bit of those the QL, those love handle muscles. Yes, it is a muscle. Bring it back down. And then the other side. Reach with the left arm. Try and pull that hip up. And then bring it back down. Awesome. You're going to lift yourself up onto your hands and knees. And then open up your knees wide. you got two options here. If your knees are not able to flex that much, you're going to keep your bum up high and walk your hands forward and keep the hips up high like that. If you're able to bend the knees more, you're going to go all the way down. So now we're actually compressing the hip flexors. We're letting them shorten and fully relax. Now we're stretching out through the back. So arms are extended. You get a little bit more lat stretch as well. Forehead is relaxed on the floor. So your neck is not doing any work. Let's see if you can make your back as long as possible. So it's not in any flexion yet. It's still extension. And let your belly fall down and get a little bit of extension in that low back. Especially if you're up high, you can really get that extension. and be like that. And then you're gonna come forward. You're gonna drop down onto your elbows, straighten out your legs, and then drop your hips down. This is the most passive um, hip flexor stretch, one of the most passive ones and most gentle. You're gonna drag your elbows back and you're trying to pull your chest through your arms and then up slightly. Okay, so we're anchoring at the quads, at the pelvis, and then pulling from the top. Shoulder blades come down and back. Good. Then lay all the way down. You can stack one hand on top of the other. Place your forehead on the ground. We're going to do five crocodile breaths. So crocodile breaths is you're going to breathe into the floor. So your lungs are going to expand and push into the floor. So you feel that resistance. And then when you exhale, you're going to allow your body to collapse into the floor just to fully deflate. Okay. So we're going to do five and five. So five in, breathe in for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three. Two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, two, five. Exhale, sorry, five, four, three, two, two. Inhale, five, four, three, two, three. Exhale, five, four, three, two, three. Inhale, five, four, three, two, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, four. Last one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, slowly everything out. So as that was focused on the hip flexors and the hamstrings, if you want to do a little bit of quad and glute, go for it. But thank you very much for joining me. Mobility. Thank you.